you know that feeling when you're finally headed home after the most incredible, maybe even a little unbelievable trip of your life? Well, imagine that feeling amplified by about a million. And you're close to what the Apollo 11 crew must have felt. They just planted humanity's first footsteps on the moon. And now it was time for their epic return. The date etched into history. July 24th, 1969. High above the vast Pacific, the command module Columbia, carrying Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins, gently detached from its service module. Then a fiery spectacle began, a brilliant streak of light, a modern-day shooting star, as they plunged back into Earth's atmosphere. It was a breathtaking sight, a fiery welcome home. At precisely 1650-35 UTC, or for those of us stateside, 12.51 p.m. Eastern Time, the Columbia successfully splashed down in the vast, waiting Pacific. Just think about it. This tiny capsule, having journeyed to another world and back, gently settling into the ocean waves about 900 miles west of Hawaii. It was a picture-perfect landing, a truly awe-inspiring feat of human ingenuity and sheer grit. Waiting for them was the USS Hornet, a naval ship ready to welcome its heroes back to terra firma. As the module was hoisted aboard, you can almost feel the collective sigh of relief, not just from the crew, but from the entire planet. But their adventure wasn't quite done yet. In a fascinating twist, straight out of a sci-fi movie, and purely as a precaution, the astronauts were immediately placed into a 21-day quarantine. Just a little bit of time, ensuring no unexpected lunar souvenirs made it back to our planet. July 24th, 1969. It wasn't just the end of a mission. It was the powerful, triumphant closing chapter of humanity's most ambitious journey. A day when the world collectively held its breath and then erupted in a wave of pride and celebration. What an incredible homecoming, wouldn't you agree?